Hey there, love detectives. Ever felt like you're stuck in the friend zone, sending out crush signals like a stranded spaceship? Fear not, because the mind detective is on the case. Today, we're cracking the code on those maybe more than friends, revealing 10 signs they actually like you but are hiding it. So grab your magnifying glass and metaphorical trench coat, because we're about to delve deep into the heart of a potential love story. Sign number one, the eye spy our eyes they're the windows to the soul right well peep this if your friend makes prolonged eye contact lingering a beat or two longer than feels comfortable that could be a sign of deeper feelings they might be trying to memorize the constellations in your irises or maybe they're simply captivated by your presence bonus points if their pupils dilate when your eyes meet that's a biological reaction triggered by attraction. It's like your brain is cranking up the zoom lens to take a closer look at someone you find interesting. Sign number two, the busy bee. We all have jam-packed schedules, overflowing to-do lists, and calendars that look like a game of Tetris gone rogue. But if your friend consistently bends over backward to make time for you, even canceling plans with others or rearranging their commitments on short notice. That devotion speaks volumes. Remember, time is a precious resource and spending it with you might be their top priority. Maybe they genuinely enjoy your company or maybe there's something more simmering beneath the surface. Sign number three, the compliment cascade. Does your friend shower you with compliments like a celebrity on a red carpet? From praising your witty banter to admiring your outfit choice, these kind words could be their way of boosting your confidence and subtly letting you know they find you attractive. Maybe they're nervous about being too upfront, so they use compliments as a gateway drug to let their feelings seep through. Sign number four, the accidental touch. Pay close attention to those little seemingly accidental touches. A lingering brush of the arm as you walk side by side, a playful nudge during a conversation, or a comforting hug that lasts a beat too long. These could all be subconscious ways your friend craves physical connection with you. It might feel innocent in the moment, but these little touches can be a way of testing the waters and seeing how you respond. Sign number five, the tease master. Sometimes, affection hides behind a playful mask. Does your friend poke fun at you in a good-natured way, call you silly nicknames that only they understand, or playfully jab at your interests? This could be a way of getting your attention and creating a unique, light-hearted dynamic between you. Maybe they're a little shy about expressing their feelings directly, so they use humor as a shield while simultaneously testing the waters of your potential interest. Sign number six. The green-eyed monster. A little jealousy can be a green flag, not a red one. Does your friend get flustered or withdrawn when you mention someone new you're interested in? This subtle possessiveness might hint at their hidden feelings. Maybe they don't want to see you with someone else, even if they haven't explicitly declared their own interest. This could be a sign that they care about you more than they're letting on. Sign number seven, the family code. Ever notice your friend's family giving you knowing looks or playful nudges? They might be picking up on a romantic tension you haven't even noticed yet. Trust your gut. Families are often good at reading the chemistry between people. Maybe they see a spark between you and your friend that hasn't quite ignited yet, and they're subtly encouraging things to move forward. Sign number eight, the chameleon. Does your friend act a little differently around you? Maybe they speak softer, their voice dropping a register to sound more soothing, or laugh more readily, their smile reaching their eyes in a way they don't with others. They might become more animated, gesturing with their hands and leaning in when you speak, a subconscious attempt to capture your attention and hold it. This shift in behavior could be a subconscious attempt to impress you and put their best foot forward. They might be trying to project a more confident, charming version of themselves, hoping to win you over. Sign number nine, the deep dive. 
Do your conversations veer into deeper territory, venturing beyond the surface-level chit-chat of everyday life? Does your friend confide in you, sharing their vulnerabilities, their dreams for the future, and the fears that keep them up at night? This emotional intimacy suggests a strong connection and a desire to be truly known by you. Maybe they feel comfortable being open and honest because they trust you deeply. Or perhaps they're hoping this vulnerability will spark a reciprocal openness, creating a deeper bond between you. Sign the Brugger 10, the label Limbo. Is the relationship status undefined? Does your friend shy away from labels like girlfriend or boyfriend, preferring to keep things casual and ambiguous? This could be a sign of hidden feelings. They might be nervous about taking things to the next level or unsure how you feel. Maybe they're worried that defining the relationship will scare you away, or perhaps they're afraid of rejection if their feelings aren't reciprocated. This ambiguity can be frustrating, but it can also be an opportunity to have an honest conversation about where things stand and explore the possibility of something more. So, love detectives, have you spotted any of these signs in your friend? Remember, these are just clues, not a definitive answer. But if you see a pattern emerging, it might be time to have an honest conversation and see where things go. Don't be afraid to take a chance. The greatest love stories often begin in the friend zone. Thanks for watching this episode of The Mind Detective. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content to help you navigate the complexities of love and relationships. And if you have a question for the mind detective, leave a comment down below, and I might just answer it in a future video.